this, so of course we gotta head south. We gotta make it back down to that. I am Ancho right of water, mouthpiece of Zeus, true just sin, withstand the assault and her power should now have the confidence I do. I don't even know what the hell this is. for a summon. So we were basically just meant to sit there and get hit.
almost at our destination. Um, what I'm home. I guess we go down here. Okay, so that's the boss. show up at the very end. Well, better get... already starting to jump. The one shot ain't doing it no more against these bosses. It's a good thing I got this uh these witcher calls on. Miss me already? First, allow me to thank you again for your earlier aid. It allowed us to successfully awaken the Crystal of Wind. I... I see. Yes, well, glad to hear I didn't work through the night in vain. Now, what brings you to me this time? Which is why we need your help, Sage. No, allow me to call you Master. Master the unparalleled glamour of your creations is the surest key to Agnes's victory. Honestly, of all the reasons to bring you out here. Very well. Any one piece from my collection of a thousand dresses strong is yours to take. Oh, Master! Words cannot express the bounds of our thanks! Oh! And you've got a vanity with cosmetics! How convenient! May I? Help yourself! Use anything you like! I feel like you two are starting to spiral out of hand. Remember why we are doing this. Let us defer to them this once. They are more knowledgeable in such things than I. Granted. But still. What do you think? That's an especially popular design among my works. I've never worn any 
anything quite so extravagant. Vito, it's all wrong. Too showy. The outfit drowns her out. The idea is to draw out. Our conversation's still going. I guess I was able to get my ice. You're a stern critic, my dear. Master, I fear this outfit lacks conviction. It's lukewarm. Have you anything harder? You're a brave man, <coughs> ring a bell. Perhaps too brave. But yes, perhaps the time has come to loose the seal upon the forbidden Bravo Bikini. It that every girl to try it on instantly and irrevocably hated me without exception. Am, am I dreaming? Oh, this might be a little ambitious, illegal. Avert your gaze, tis. You aren't ready. It's too much temptation. Uh, but if you did wear it, your victory would be assured. Such is its terrible power. Then wear it I shall. I am prepared to make any sacrifice to find Olivia. What courage, what noble spirit. Here then, take my greatest masterpiece. Your determination, Vesta. Now, to action! I did! But that was. Uh, this isn't. If I wore this, I. Uh, I catch my death of cold! Does your talk of sacrifice ring hollow so soon, Agnes? I'll also mention that my journal states Agnes wore sexy clothes. It was awesome. Agnes, he's lying. I saw his book earlier, and it said nothing of the sort. <clears throat> A word of advice? Don't choose the clothes, child. Let the clothes choose you. But, but... All right, you two, that's enough. The poor girl's near her breaking point. But what a victory. Don't you want to win? No. I've said as much from the very beginning. You've no desire to claim the title of most beautiful for your own? Vessel is the only title I require. If you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. It's not as if there's any rule that says entrants have to dress sexy in the first place. There isn't? Then I don't... Oh, this is... unacceptable! You're certain? There's no way to change your mind? Yes! And no! And you, Tiz? You're a teenaged boy. Have you no blood in your veins? I feel... Here lie my dreams, broken, crushed of all I ever loved. Sex appeal is tricky. Bruh. Let's go. We haven't much time before the day of the festival. 
We ought to be returning to Florum. Empty-handed. For all our troubles. I blame myself for underestimating the beast that is sex appeal. I'm not sure there's any cause for blame. And why try to tart you up or present you as someone you're not? I say show them you, as you are. I imagine Olivia is a lot more likely to recognize you that way, too. What if you... I don't know. Why don't you wear the Vestal garb? From the right. Or just wear a sash saying, I'm the Vestal, assassinate me. But who around here knows about the Vestal garb? Us four, the Sage, Olivia, that's it. Plus, I think... Me, as I am, as the Vestal of Wind. Thank you, Tiz. You are precisely right. I shall wear the Vestal garb for the festival. I think that's the right choice. Well, look at you, Tiz. You little charmer. <laughs> oh, to be young and starry-eyed again. The Vestal Garb is no less a masterpiece of mine than any other. It ought to serve you well enough. Is there a wolf still over? And he is. I don't know if we can get anything from trading, but I don't think we can get anything. winner of the upcoming Sacred Flower Festival. I am! Aren't I pretty? Now, if you want to grow up to be pretty like me, you need your beauty sleep. <laughs> ha! Idiotic plebe. Now, that's not very... only to my that lovely face <laughs> they really are such fragile things like plucking a flower and flowers so beg to be plucked the ease of it all is a terrible bore don't you agree victor just so victoria just so <laughs> Let us hope these vestals to the crystals are more entertaining. By my data, the likely runner-up ought to be strolling past soon. Shall we say hello, Victoria?
hurrying back to form. Thank you. I'll wear the vessel garb, as tis suggested. This is your last chance to rethink it. Agnes, I still think the world deserves to see the Bravo! Unacceptable! Has history ever seen so sad a day as this? No, I say, surely not! Oh. No one who matters is sad, Ringabel. <sighs> Are you... nervous? I know it's scary standing up in front of a crowd this size. But don't be scared. We'll be close by, keeping watch. Thank you. Hearing that does lift a weight from my shoulders. Good. Now relax and go get them. Here we go. Gotta hurry to the festival, but we gotta get hurry here first. Well, hello. Quite the dashing little dandy, eh, my friend? But pray, mistake me not. I've no interest in children, and still less in men. But yes. This is quite the merry band. Two boys, two girls. Double date, is it? Double date? How charmingly hot-blooded. Ah, youth, look at me. You're making old red blush. Ah, beg your pardon. That was no criticism. I'm proud, envious even. Hard to believe I was that young once. Time's remorseless arrow, eh? Now look at me. Just a sad pile of bones and flab and tarnished dreams. I'd be happy to cheer those bones up any night, De Rosa. Stop it. We've got kids watching. Curious. I feel a reflexive, uncontrollable revulsion. 
So tell me, my little dandy. You're addressing me? I am. Tell me straight. Just how far have you gotten with her? What? Not even held hands? That's worrisome. You're making the red worry. Women are fickle beasts. Another fellow comes according and they're apt to flit off. Take me. If I saw an opening to chat her up, I'd have her in my pocket in minutes, seconds. What? Excuse me? Are you really gonna flirt while I'm standing right here? If you'll pardon my saying, I doubt Edea fancies shallow old men. <laughs> no need to get heated, lad. True, you have your youth and innocence and baseless confidence. As well you should. Stay just as you are. We'll see if she does the same. Just remember, it's not innocence a girl wants. It's a thrill. That and a refined technique. Technique? Ah, oh, but I'm afraid you'll have to study up on that one alone. <laughs> Take care. Uh, oh. Idea, just what manner of technique? <laughs> What do you look for in a man? Sorry, I'm pretending I misheard you. Is it clever conversation? A gift for cooking? Swords and sorcery? Kissing? Right. Now I'm pretending I didn't hear you at all. <laughs> Entrance number five. It's Mary. Oh, my heart's pounding, and I'm in the audience. It's like the speech at Anshine all over again. I nearly forgot to breathe. She'll do fine. And we're here just in case. Stage fright isn't the only thing worrying me. Last I heard, there were a total of six girls competing today. So why is Agnes's entry number nine? Where are the other three, you mean? Maybe they panicked at the last minute? Hmm. I suppose it's possible. The lovely Mary. Next up, number nine. On yes. Oh, here she comes. She's shy, nervous, and all the above. It's still your turn. Come on down. Oh, right. Sorry. What was she thinking with that bland get up? She's clearly delusional. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> I didn't come all the way here for this! Boo! Boo! <laughs> to my one true friend, in hopes that this may reach you, though great distance has come between us, I consider you my friend. Now, as in childhood, you are 
a source of joy, a target of aspiration. You were ever one step ahead, but you would always stop to reach out a gentle hand to guide me. Just to see your smile and hear you speak filled my days with warmth. Yet now, I do not even know where you are. The smile you wore as a girl is still so fresh in my mind. And yet, I feel my breast will be torn asunder from worry. I want to see you again, to know that you are well. <sighs> to be truthful, I am terrified without you. Even now, as a grown woman, I force myself onward, but any confidence I show is hollow deception. Every pause, every quiet moment, I feel ready to fall to my knees and wail as I did back then. Please, I feel I cannot withstand this crushing weight. I cannot manage it alone. I cannot imagine completing my task without you there. Without your aid. For so long, I'd swallowed back these doubts. Tried to be strong. But I fear old habits are not soon broken. I will wait for you. So please, if you are watching, tell me. Let me know you are there. Give me some small sign. And this time, I will do as you once did. I will reach out my hand to you. <gasps> I... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I know they gotta tell a story, but bruh. These conversations be so long. I call foul play. How do you not have any... And they feel like they ain't got no life to them. Hers was an appeal wholly out of keeping with the contest's theme. Perhaps I ought to have worn the bikini after all. You were just fine. You said what you came to say. The idea was never to win the contest. If Olivia heard that, I'm certain your words will move her. I hope so. Hmm? I wonder what... A letter? Wait, is it from... Oh. Olivia! She wrote me a letter! See? You got through to her just fine! So, what does it say? I heard about your appearance at the festival, though I was not able to attend. It puts my heart to ease knowing that you have also weathered this terrible crisis. I wish to meet with you as well, Agnes. My one true friend. But I fear I am not free to move about. Behind the ruins to the west lies the hidden village of the Crystal Orthodoxy. You will find me there. Do not allow this letter to be seen by any eyes but yours. Not even the matriarch can know. Awfully cautious, isn't she? If I trust anyone in Flora, it's the matriarch. They must be after her too then, as we feared. Let us go, straight away, west to the ruins and the hidden village beyond. I trust you heard that, Victor. Most clearly, Victoria. Then we've little need for the wind, Bestel, to continue living. Hmm. Indeed, though if I may, it seems they make for the Vestal of Water's side. Yes, and? They may serve us better as live bait. We let them go, give chase, and net two Vestals at once. Fine, fine. So in the end, it was I who took the festival crown. Unsurprising, but amusing enough. Isn't that good? What did you say, Victor? Just I so, fix this thing. Victoria. Just so.
Just what are these techniques? I stood on it all night and came up blank. Next time I see that red character, I'm getting a demonstration, one way or another. All right. 